Hey folks, Sylvius here. Um, last night I finished the stamp war task, so I'm here to do the boss. His name's like Thermophyte or something like that. Um, Trophonite, something like that. I'm hereby just going to call him Tramper Pete, because yeah, I don't care. Pete for short. So, I'm here to go kill Pete. Uh, I'm pretty sure when I hunted here, I did point out where his uh, teleporter was, but for anybody who didn't watch that video, I figured I'd walk all the way to it. Also, in case you didn't catch it, that's the teleporter into the Muggy Plains. You just kind of follow the coastline right up to here. Real simple. You'll have to fight a couple of, um... Great. You'll have to fight a couple of lions... Uh, yeah, lions. <laughs> You'll have to fight a couple of high lizards, but that's it. And that is not the right teleporter, just for the record, people. Fun fact, I think I may have said this when I was also hunting here, but the first time I went here and I had, um, to come kill the boss, I had, like, stored the boss point from the previous level, so I was able to kill him without fighting these dudes, so I had, like, no idea what I was getting into, right? So I just assumed that was the teleporter, because, you know, why would there be a teleporter in this cave surrounded by trees quite like that? Like, doesn't that just look exactly like where the boss should be? Right? Like... If there's a second floor of this cave, shouldn't it have been a hole down, like a rope hole or a staircase or something? Why would it be a teleporter surrounded by two trees that don't grow anywhere else in this cave? So yeah, I just ran down there. And when you do go down that teleporter, you're just like immediately beset by like four to five stamp wars. So I just panicked and died. <laughs> Worse, part of the reason why I died was um, my friend helped me get through. So he was a knight, so he, like, blocked him for me. And he also wanted to check to see how, like, well he would do against him. Uh, because he wanted to see if he could task these guys. So, like, we took it really light and easy. And, um, <clears throat> I didn't get, like, a good sense of what stampers are actually capable of. So I just, like, hopped down, boop, 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 did my thing, died. So anyway, his teleporter's up here. Um, hopefully I don't run into anybody. Good. His teleporter's here. Running into somebody. Um, Wiki says he's basically just a souped up um, Stampor. So, same skill drain, same like Berserk, same ranged attacks. Uh, a little bit stronger, I think. Um, Wiki also says that he'll run around fire, uh, poison, and <coughs> um, energy. <coughs> Yeah, I guess that's what all these stampers do. So yeah, I guess you could be fine with poison here too. Basically though, he's just a slightly tougher stamper. He doesn't do anything special, although Wiki doesn't have the uh, his like numbers or anything like that. Um, the bosses that are just like souped up versions of their normal selves are the easy ones. It's the ones that have like special abilities that are really tough, like the old widow, for instance, who throws po uh, poison bombs and can summon other ones. So you're actually in a pretty large area here, and you actually have a decent amount of room to like operate before you even get in, get to where he's at. Um, although I'm almost positive you can lure him to the center spot, so I'm just going to throw the wall there. Uh, where is he at? <laughs> there he is. It's Pete! I'm going to let Pete hit me like once or twice so that we can kind of see what he's capable of. There we go. There we go. He's not capable of a lot. Alright, I don't want to kill Pete. There we go. Yeah, I wanted to let him hit me with the Exori. There we go. Alright. I've let him hit me enough times. That was enough free hits from Pete. That was the skill drain. Ooh, I wonder if he drained my skills more. I don't think so, actually. So anyway... Hollow Stamper Hoof, a Knight Armor, 7 Platinum Coins, 4 Small Tap Passes, Stamper Horn, Stamper Towns... Ugh. That was not exactly great. Um, let's see here. What's the wiki say about him? Pete can always drops talons, always drops knight armor, always drops a horn, and always drops a hoof. He can drop 1 to 10 platinums, 1 to 5 small topazes, 1 to 2 strong health potions, 1 to 2 strong mana potions, and a spike squelcher is an option too. So, eh. I guess I did well on the, um, the platinum and the potions. Um, but everything else is kind of meh. 
so that was that then. Um, I do actually want to just poke my head around here, just see everything that's here. I hate having like black areas on my map. It drives me nuts. But yeah, otherwise. All right, folks, that was uh, Pete. He's not hard. Um, he's not one of the fancy bosses that do fancy things, like the old Widow is, for instance. Or I think Thul is another one that does that. Um, anyway, people, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, check me out on Patreon, Twitter, Facebook, and I will see you guys later.